Kalonord is dead, Lord Malak. He has failed in his mission. Forgive me. The penalty for failure is death, Admiral Carath. But the failure was Kalos, not yours. You may rise. Shall I hire another bounty hunter, Lord Malak? No mere bounty hunter can stand against a Jedi. I shall not make the same mistake again. My apprentice, Darth Bandon, shall take care of our young Jedi friend. Find Bastila and bring her to me, alive if possible. As you command, Master. Yeah, what do you want? We fought against the Republic forces for some time, over the course of many battles. At the start, they were not much of a threat to speak of. But once the Jedi Revan took charge, things began to turn against us. The Republic fleets began to use more than just basic tactics. Feints, counterattacks, mass deceptions. Revan was a genius on the field. Revan abandoned worlds of their defenders so that others would be too fortified to strike and was willing to make sacrifices in order to advance goals. And in the end, Revan proved too much for us. The Sith had gone, retreated into their empire. They sealed themselves off from the rest of the galaxy. We thought it would be centuries before they'd come back. It's amazing that they could rebuild their fleet so fast. But at the time, it looked like the galaxy was in our grasp. I still remember that final battle in the skies above Malachor V. 
the two fleets filling the space around it, outshining the stars. It was not your ships, or your men, or your vaunted fight for freedom that won this, the final battle of the war. It was by the actions of one person, the Jedi Revan, that you prevailed. His strategies and tactics defeated the best of us. Even Mandalore himself was taken aback by the ferocity of his attacks, the tenacity of his defenses, and the subtleties of his plans. He fought us to a standstill, and then began pushing back. We really didn't have a chance. It was what we had wanted all along, in a way. We wanted to fight the best, in a battle that would be remembered for centuries. And we did. And Revan won. I don't hold a grudge against Revan, and neither do any of my people. It was the greatest moment of my life to be in that battle. If Revan had been a Mandalorian, nothing in the galaxy would have stopped us. But wishing for the past to be different is useless. Better look to the future, as we should now. We'll talk more later, I think. Is there something else you want to know? Hey, don't worry. A real warrior knows there anything else you... Hey, don't worry. A real... There any... The war we had with the Republic was supposed to be the... There weren't many of us after that last battle. Mandalore himself was killed at the hands of the Jedi Revan. The best of us could not defeat him. After that last battle, those of us that survived were stripped of our weapons, our armor, and our basilisks. Revan's forces destroyed them while we were forced to watch. Those who hadn't fled earlier were left with nothing to call their own. No weapons, no armor, only the honor of having fought in the battle we just lost. For many, this was not enough. While the rest of us were sent into exile on the Outer Rim, they tried to relive the old days, raiding worlds. They're nothing more than bandits now. Yeah, I found word on Taris. Enforcing for Davik was not stimulating. The gangs on Terrace and Davik's rivals were trash. They give no thrill in battle, no honor or glory in defeating them. It was like stepping on bugs. I sought worthy challenges, but the best that Terrace could offer were nothing to me. But I think now, with you, I may finally find opponents worth fighting. Maybe later I'll tell you more about what it was like to work for Davik. For now, is there something else? A real war there any your ch statement HK for affirmative if you request statement as you wish master now close the last pack supplicate as Hey there, what can I do? Talk! What is there to talk about? The Griff may be a slime, but we have to go re You heard the Zerka rep! The I can't-
Uchua Penki, Tony Tuama G, Human Act. This kind of soki, Kopa Bono Nakachu, Labora na Winky, Chiwa at Aita Kan Kicha na Tupor Nibo, Kuchi Wi Aita Ka Tong Chicha, Ali Uko Tune, Chiwa at Aita Kan Kicha na Tupor Nib, Achua Penki. Aita ka tong ji ji wa ka aita ka ji cha na ju tong ji wa ma ji yu man ak un ni ka tu ne. Thank you. 
what? You're a friend of Jolly Bindo, and that Jolly has returned to the sector. Please, I must speak to him. It's very urgent. My name is Elora. My husband, Sunri, and Jolie are old friends. Now Sunri needs Jolie's help. Please, I beg you to bring Jolie. I didn't. Nobody knew where you were, not even Sunri. But I heard the Salkath mention you and your friends. The Force has brought you to help us. Why? Whatever could be the matter, my dear? Oh, it's horrible, Jolie. Sunri has been arrested. The Sith have accused him of murder. Murder? But how? It's all a mistake, Jolie. Sunri isn't a murderer. Someone is trying to frame him. Calm down, Melora. Where's Sunri now? Sunri's being held at the Selkath courts. They won't let anyone in to see him. Please, go to the courts. Talk to the judges. Maybe the Selkath will listen to you. Don't worry, Alora. We'll get to the bottom of this and help Sunri. Somehow. Of my way, unless you want to feel the wrath of the Sith. You dare mock. Kin Kin 
Soba muli rachin kun. Tong hai tun kun ching. Ni bobo ji mata, ni pun naje. Dolpi kik nyunyan. Tong hai tuam ji ji yumalith pa ang ninko tu. Tolba da bung kual ya gando da nago chuchut. Kachi chu ai tha haudonga. Yumalith ka ninko tun. Chilo mulera de ne bobo. Munko kun biskang ba mu... Takom jus tak miki gravel mogo. Kachi chu ai thao donga. Tulpa da bonk molya gando da nago chuchu. Tung hai tuam jiji yumalith pa ang ninko tu. Tulpa da bonk molya gando da nago chuchu. Again, Candorous. It has been quite a long time. Joggy? He... he was a warrior under my command up to the Battle of Althir. But I thought... You thought I was dead, didn't you? You thought all of us that you had sent on that attack had perished. You sent us to die in a foolish attack, while you directed your forces elsewhere. You broke from the battle plan and let us die for it so that you could have the honor of being the first to kill the enemy commander. I alone realized what was happening, and managed to escape the trap before it closed. The trap he set for his own men! I... I did what was prudent at the time. If I had not done it, the battle would have... The battle would have been won anyway. I am tired of your excuses, Candorous. I have spent years tracking you down since the clans were banished. And I will not rest until I've had my vengeance. I challenge you, Candorous. I challenge you to fight the fight you fled that day above Althir, in the doomed seas of Tatooine. I will be waiting for you. I have spread the news of the challenge since I learned you had landed on this world. All the surviving Mandalorian clans know of what I do here and that we shall meet on Tatooine to settle this debt of vengeance once and for all. If you fail to meet me there, you shall be stripped of all honor and forever cast out of our society. It will be you and me alone in the dune seas of Tatooine. A final battle that can only end in death. I shall be waiting for you there, Kendris. Takom just tak miki gravel mogo. Kachi chu ai thao donga. Tulpa da bonk molya gando. Tung hai tuam jiji yumalith pa ang ninko tu. Tulpa da bonk molya gando da na... Rundi hao donga ku hunga bi. Wana kumbes. Kachi chu ai thao donga. Yin kin ku no ba muli rach...
Takum jus tak miki grabel mogo. Kaci chu waita odonga, tulpa da bonk molia gando da nago chuchut. Moga shampungpa, bo rundi haudonga kuhunga bi. Tonga bug sham uninong, wanga kun bistkin bamulira. Chuni yun tunji kachi chu aitha haudonga. Yin kin kuno bamul takum justak miki grabel mogo. Kachi chu aitha haudonga, tulpa da bong tong hai tuam jiji yumalith pa ang yin kotu. Tulpa da bong kualyaga. ชูอาเป็นกีต้องฮิตวามาจีต้องฮิตวามาอากิคุโกตุเนะกอตองฮิตวามาจีอากิชิวะเอ็ดไอตากันคิชานาจูปอร์นิโบชิวิไอตากา
I'm here. Yes? Got something on your mind? What? You think because I'm a hermit, I've always been a hermit? Just because I haven't seen Sunray for 20 years doesn't mean he's not a friend. A man could have changed a lot in that span of time, though. But to become a murderer, no. I can't see it. He was a good man. Put me up in his home for a year back after I left the Order. War hero, too. Well, so I hear. I wouldn't mind helping the fellow if we can. I owe it to him. Or you can be a young monkey lizard and ignore... Oh, 
I hear you've been appointed as arbiter in Sunri's trial. Oh, Sunri is... he's a cripple. That's true. I'd forgotten about that. Let's not forget that he would have had to have been considerably older than the Sith woman. Hmm. I'm a Jedi, and one who is living alone in the Shadowlands until recently. That keeps you in shape, dammit. We're talking about Sunri here. And there's no way he would do something so dishonorable as hit her from behind. Sunri's a decorated war hero. Find the real evidence. That's all I... Jolie, what are you doing here? The lore sent me, Summary. I'm here to get you out of this mess. The courts went and made us arbiters for your case. Just like old times, eh, Jolie? You come swooping in out of nowhere to save my tail from the fire? You saved my wrinkle butt more than a few times as well, friend, if I recall. But there'll be time for catching up later. The case is a complete frame-up. Anyone looking at the evidence could see that. There aren't any witnesses. All that evidence... Well, I was at the hotel, I admit, and I did meet Alasa there that night, but it's not what you think. I, uh, I was working with Republic Intelligence. We were pretending to feed information to the Sith when I turned Alasa into a double agent working for us. It was going well, too, until she turned up dead. Hmm. Maybe the Sith had found out, but let's look at the facts that Alasa was brutally killed. Think about that. She was a Sith. Trained in battle, and I'm... My war injuries make it difficult for me to walk, even to hold things. See how my hands are shaking? How could I kill a Sith warrior at close quarters? I ask you! Further, they say they found my heroes cross at the crime scene. Would I leave my war medal behind if I killed someone? Even I'm not that stupid. Obviously, the Sith planted the cross. And what about the lack of forensic evidence? Skin and hair samples, clothing fibers. Why isn't there anything like that at the crime scene? Sounds like an obvious frame-up to me. I hope you can see how the Sith are manipulating the cell cat. Anything else I can help you with? I uh, guess you could interview witnesses at the hotel where the murder happened. The cell cat already did that, but the... Fish folk don't have much rapport with offworlders, but I think you'd be better off investigating the Sith themselves. Maybe you could find some proof they planted evidence to frame me. Though that might mean figuring out a way into these. Anything else I can help you with? Go ahead, ask. How would they know? They weren't there. I heard some of the witnesses said that too, but I swear she was a. I wonder if the Sith had been putting pressure on people to get them to convict. You should ask everyone about that. They might admit to helping. I guess you could interview witnesses at the hotel with them, but I. Anything else I can help. Oh. Very. Once you've got. Thank <laughs> you. 
When I get out of here, you're dead! I'll gut your fishy little corpse, cut off your head, and bathe in your blood! I hear you've been a part Got something on your mind, dude? something on your you got yourself a fast little ship <laughs> I forgot what engine sounded like the closest thing to that on Kashik is an uller in mating season Ugh, frightful or it could be for the free food what's the gunk that comes out of a synthesizer on this bucket anyway do you never clean the darn thing I'm old damn it I'm allowed to be enigmatic when I want to be. And don't you go telling me otherwise. You know, you remind me of someone else I knew ages ago. Pleasant enough. No, but it could be. An Anduvian salt tablet would clear that right up, you know. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yes. Andor Vix is his name. The force swirled around him like a hurricane. That's how great his destiny was. So much a hurricane as a slight breeze. But that doesn't mean anything. Destiny is sometimes in the eye of the beholder. Well, it turned out that poor Andor believed a wee bit too much in the infallibility of that destiny. I don't know. Are you overconfident? I hadn't noticed. Even if I had, I would never comment on it. We're talking about Andor, remember? Let's see. Oh, yes, Andor's downfall. I was pretty young myself when it happened. At the time, I thought that Andor's destiny couldn't be more boring. I was just about to abandon Andor to whatever the Force intended. Now, you've probably never heard of the Dimians, but at the time, the Grant has us hauled onto the bridge of his ship for... Swirling force, remember? Jedi here. Granted, I was just interpreting the signs, but we get trained in that. Well, Andor decides that his destiny makes him invulnerable and starts making all sorts of demands. Krat decides he's had enough and begins crushing Andor's neck. I told the boy he should have kept his mouth shut. I think he agreed, too. Or this could have finally... Krat has enough of Andor and tosses him aside into this giant energy intake shaft. Andor gets sucked in and starts about Maybe Andor hit something sensitive on the way down or just didn't agree with the reality. Everyone panics and I run, barely making it to the ship in time before the explosion. Krat dies horribly and the Dimians never co change the political course of the entire sector for centuries to come. I'd call that quite a destiny. Well, hey, the chances may not be great, but, but one has the opportunity to see something like that twice in a lifetime. Anyway, go on. My throat is dry. Jolie, may I have a moment? There's something I wish to speak to you about. Yep, I figured it was only a matter of time until we had the whole come back to the order discussion. Well, I guess there's no avoiding it now, so let's get it over with. I know you have issues with the order, but you are a Jedi, Jolie. 
You command the Force. Without the guidance of the Council, how can you avoid falling to the dark side? Well, I've managed to avoid it the last 20 years or so. Besides, light side, dark side, they don't mean the same to me as they do to you. I don't see in absolutes. I want to stop Malik as much as anyone, but I don't have to join the Order to do it. Look at Karth, or Kandarus. They're with us in this quest, but they aren't Jedi. The capacity for good or evil, like the Force itself, is in all living creatures, and belonging to the Jedi Order, or the Sith, or any group, won't change what you are at your core. I see you are quite adamant. No doubt you've had ample time to think on this during your long seclusion. I guess it was foolish of me to think I could sway your position so easily. Yeah, I'm old and stubborn. But I appreciate the effort. But from now on, you can just think of me as any other non-Jedi in our little group. With a lightsaber. And force powers. You're the one defending Sunri now, huh? Well, the hotel's open for you. And I guess I gotta answer any questions you want, too. The Sith woman, Alasa, rented a room in the hotel. An hour or two later, Sunri comes in and goes to her room. A couple hours later, I hear a blaster shot and see Sunri running. He can't run good because he's a cripple, but he still was going pretty fast. I would... Yeah, I'm pretty damn sure he left after the shot went off. No, I don't think so. I mean, it's... No. No way I'm lying to the court just because you want to get your Republic buddy off or whatever. No. No way. No. No. What do you want to... Elasa used to rent rooms here every week or so. Then Sunri would come by a couple hours later and stay all night. It doesn't take a genius to figure... There were only two other people. Normally I don't let his kind in here. I'm a reputable. The other is don't know anything about him other than that. Anything else you want to? The s he can't run. No, I don't think so. I mean, it's possible. No, no way. I'm lying to the court. Just no. Yes? You with the cell, Kath? You here to see me about the mer- I told the damn fish everything I knew. What more do you all want from me? Sunri, I only heard of once or twice in passing. Some sort of old-time war hero against the Sith. Seen him around in the hotel, too. Going to Alas's room always, of course. Kept the rest of the building up half the night with their damn antics, usually. I'm not saying anything like that. What they did in that room, in private, is their business. And there isn't any rule against Sith and Republic seeing each other for personal reasons. Although, if you think her Sith Master didn't know, <laughs> you must be for... Oh, well, Alasa was a Sith, so... Of course, she'd have to have someone above her. Yeah, I, I didn't see anything. One hundred credits isn't enough for the kind of trouble I'd be having if I... Thanks. I was in my room, minding my own business with the latest copy of Pazak Weekly, checking out the listings for the big tournament that's going to be held here soon. Being still alive and therefore... Sm you can't tell me that someone who was running like that, and he was pretty fast for a cripple... Sunri, I only heard of once or twice in passing. Some sort of old-time war hero against the Sith. Seen him around in the hotel, too. Kept the rest of the building up. I'm not... And there... Oh. 
I didn't see anything, and there's no way you can make me say otherwise. Now, quick. One hundred credit. Thanks. Yes, well, I'll be right. กลุ่มปรตองฮิตวานาจีสกัดอากีอินโกตูเนกลุ่มปอร์มูลิราชลุ่มปอร์ยอนทงชีวีอิตาโปลาอุนจิกเนมูลิราชลุ่มปอร์
Have you managed to retrieve the data from our droid in the Sith base? Time is a critical factor. We cannot... I, I'm sorry. I'm on duty, citizen. Please refer any questions to our diplomatic... If you got a problem, go talk to our diplomatic representative. I, I'm sorry. I'm on duty, citizen. Please refer any questions to our diplomatic corps. Thank you. I'm sorry, I'm on duty, citizen. Please refer any questions. I'm sorry, I'm on duty, citizen. Please refer any questions to our diplomatic corps. Thank you. Have you managed to retrieve the data? Time? Yes?
Jolly! Come soon, old friend. We don't want to... Oh, I grow weary of... Well, I... It was... But a lot more... Fair! Obviously, I know. Anything... 
Once you've got... It is an honor to see and I will see Sunri is The man I saw leaving, Sunri, probably left after I heard the blaster shot. The guilt of the accused is apparent even this early in the trial. You are feareth me, the well-known Pazak player. I wonder if we can trust the word of a, a gambler as reliable testimony. Of course, Your Honor. Feareth me, what did you see the night of the murder? Well, I came out into the hallway after hearing the blaster shot and saw Sunri over there limping down the hall out of the building. A very obvious point, Your Honours. The accused was seen leaving the scene of the crime after the blaster that killed... You mean, actually see him kill her with my own eyes? Well, no, but I don't think there could have been anyone else there. <laughs> I think it may have been. I mean, you'd have to be pretty stupid. Well, he was moving pretty fast running away, but yeah, I mean, how could he kill a Sith warrior in combat? I don't... the Rodian. You were staying in the hotel the night of the murder and saw Sunri leaving Alasa's room, didn't you? This is clear then. That's... Don't do it, Lupor. Lupor can king David Nibora on Chitsa. Lies! Slander! I object! You, Elora, are Sunri's lawful wife. Your husband was a hero in the last war between the Sith Empire. He was crippled in that war. Do you not believe he'd blame the Sith for his injury? Yes. 
And there you have motive. <laughs> He was a good man, but his injuries pained him terribly. But he always held on. Always. I don't think he could have beaten her or anything like that. Yes, he fought against the Sith in the last war. He fought bravely. And was it? I don't know how much that means to the Sith or to your Selkath, your honors. But in the Republic, it is awarded only to the bravest, most valorous, most... The kind of man who earns that medal would not... I wish to call... Are you a war hero, Mr. S yes, that's right. And I don't regret it either. The re Indeed. Would you say that you dislike the Sith, even... Of course I hate them. Trying to take over the galaxy every chance they get, killing millions of... Pure politics. Were you in Alassa's room? Well, yes, I, I knew she was a Sith. And she would be trying to pump me for information, of course. So I, I just simply turned the tape. I was working on her, trying to turn her over to the Republic side. To An obviously false story. I have proof here in the form of data recording that proves. I, I, what's the use now? I had been having a. You were having an affair with. A no, I, I think we can see the. <laughs> Of course she was. Why would a young, beautiful... I don't know. The medal had gone missing some time ago. I never found out what happened to it. It's possible the Sith had stolen it and had it planted on the body. Supposition... Yes, I think they would. They wouldn't want to lose one of their sources, even though I didn't give them any. They... they might have killed her for her failure. Or they might have thought she'd turn against them or something like that. The Sith Empire is not the barbaric institution. <laughs> I think the facts in this case are very straightforward. Sunri was had witnesses saw Sunri fleeing the I am co <laughs> Oh that doesn't mean a thing. He was there. <laughs> The Sith would not leave the medal of her killer clutched in her hand. No, Your Honors, I do. This is the will of the court. 